Hello, uh, it's Matt. Uh, I just want to do a video about my Mazrite fuzz pedals. Uh, I am the CEO of Dad Tech, which is my company. It stands for Detroit Analog Devices. And uh, I've been selling my pedals on Sweetwater Gear Exchange. And sales have been a little bit, uh, you know, uh, not that great. So we're making some more videos, and I just want to show everybody what I've been building. And uh, today we're going to be going over uh, over my Mazrite clones. These uh, a Mazrite is like a circuit that's uh, from the 1960s, and uh, they are an interesting sounding pedal. I'm going to show you what they sound like. Now you notice I I have one that is a one knob version, and this is just it's not really a gain knob. It's it's well, I guess you might be able to call it a gain knob, but on the controls on a Mazrite are usually uh, the gain knob says deepness level. It's really more of like a frequent frequency response knob, and uh, so I have one that's just like a gain knob, and I have one that has a volume knob on there. On there, and uh, I think that the the one knob version sounds better. I feel like putting the volume knob on it kind of makes it. Uh, not as loud. And these are not very powerful pedals. If you look at the cattle and bread uh, demos of these Mazrites, because I was watching those to make sure that I was building them right, they always have the volume up all the way. These are not very loud pedals. And so I would recommend people buying the, the one knob version. Even though I just spent a big, well, it's, you know, it's big money for me. I, I bought... I bought a, a big bag of uh, the 50k potentiometers for the output, but um, I kept on trying to figure out why does this one sound better, and I thought maybe I did something wrong, and then I finally just took one that had two knobs, and I took the other, I took the volume knob out, and it sounded like this one. This one sounds better to me, but we'll make up your own mind, okay? And we're just going to get this out of the way. It really sounds, I feel like the one knob version sounds better when you roll the, the deepness control all the way uh, all the way to the left. That's really where the difference is. We'll do the two knob version so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's my clean sound. So let's hear this, the two knob version with the deepness all the way to the left. Because that's really what the main difference is between the one knob and the two knob version is when, when it's all the way to the left. So let's hear it. the difference you hear the difference the one knob version sounds like thicker and louder so I prefer that one okay but it's it's up to you which which one you want so uh, let's play through the one knob version some more <laughs> So let's go back to the one knob version. The deepness is all the way to the left. That was the two knob version. This is the one knob version now. 
It's I think the one knobber sounds louder. It has more low end to me. Now this is the two knobber. So you can definitely hear a difference. That's that's really where the main difference is is, is in how the, the the deepness knob functions. I think it's it functions better on the one knob version. You see these these uh, I'm just gonna try to put it all in layman's terms. These pedals originally had th uh, 350k gain knobs and 35k volume knobs. Okay, now most modern interpretations. On the schematics, they have a 500k gain knob and a 50k volume knob. Okay, and that's because 35k and, and 350k are what they call non standard potentiometer values. And so, technically, this is not the exact circuit, but it's pretty close. But when I first built these, I didn't have any 50K volume knobs. I had to order them. And trust me, I would like to just use all the ones I ordered. I'll probably repurpose them, or I might build two knobbers if people like them. But I really think that it sounds better with just the 500K gain knob going directly to output. Because these, these potentiometers are both in series, and so I feel like it really attenuates the low end with the volume knob. I really think the one knobber sounds better, so it's up to you. I mean, I already made, I'm shooting myself in the foot because I only have one that's just one knob. I already have a couple made that are two knobs. In fact, I think I'm going to put the, the two knobbers at a discount, but uh, when you roll it all the way to the right, when you roll the gain knob or the deepness level to the right, they really sound pretty much similar, pretty much the same, but that's, I, I feel like I, I uh, it doesn't really need the volume knob. These circuits aren't really that loud, so that's my opinion. All right, so let's uh, let's play through the two knobber version again. Now we're gonna jack it all the way up. starts to sound more like an Octavia when when it's all the way to the right and then it's it, you, you know then you put it in the middle then it's just a little bit different all right let's do it all the way jacked up on the one knob version so you can hear it next to each other
back to the two knobber. <laughs> So it, it kind of sounds like an Octavia when it's all the way up. Okay, so it's it's a psychedelic type of sound. It's uh, you know, I kind of like it. I like it. Um, I think the one knobber sounds better. So I'm just being completely honest. The lo one knobber I feel like sounds a little bit louder, and so these are kind of weak sounding pedals. So I I I think that the one knobber is better, but. I suppose if you're going to put like a boost after it, you, you'd probably want a volume knob, you know, so you can mix it with, with the volume knob. So these pedals are available at Sweetwater Gear Exchange. I'm thinking I'm going to price these uh, cheap. I just want to move more pedals. So these are my Mazrite clones. So this is the video I did for the Mazrite clones just so people know what they're buying. I really appreciate everyone that's bought one, uh, one of my other ones. Uh, L mods, those are crazy pedals. I got definitely a lot of pedals in the works. Uh, I have built hundreds of pedals, and I've I've probably sold less than ten of them. <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm a no. I, I I it's just it's just because hardly anybody sees the listings. But uh, I'm always willing to make a deal, though. You know, I'm making a deal. Make a deal. You know, just you know, write me or leave a comment or whatever, and. Uh, you know, and if if you're interested in one of these pedals, these are these Mazrets are just very '60s sounding. These are more just like novelty things. Like I'm not saying that they're. I mean, they're they're gonna last. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna last. But but I feel like you're probably getting like a pretty good percentage out of what you'd get if you if you had a real one. Although these ones have silicon transistors. You know. I'm trying to make these affordable for people to buy. And uh, silicon transistors uh, are going to be more consistent sounding. But uh, these, you know, it's it's just if you want to try, see what it was like playing in in the 1960s. I mean, that's the stuff that they had was really primitive compared to what they have now. But it really does do that psychedelic stuff pretty good. I think it sounds pretty decent. You know, it's just like you have to know how to use it, you know. Like I, uh, so, uh, you know, you don't have to be a smart guy to know how to use them. But, uh, you know, they got these cute little decals on them. Let me see if I can get it on there. Pretty good. Okay, see those? One has the, the uh, skull. And I got some scary looking decals. I prefer the one, the nice little cute ones that look like this. But it seems like more people are interested in buying these evil, satanic-looking ones. And, uh, I mean, I don't even feel comfortable making them, but I got to make money somehow, right? You know? But, uh, yeah, these are just nice little novelty products for people to buy. You know? You know, uh, I'm trying to price them nice and cheap, you know, $30 or something like that, you know? But, uh... You know, and if you buy more than one of them, I can put one more than one in the box, and the shipping don't cost that much. So, you know, as long as they're the same size. <laughs>